pictures of a of a church on fire in Egypt in the Christian Science Monitor, a very liberal newspaper that rarely, if ever, takes a strong political position. And they report in an Egyptian village, Christian shops marked ahead of a church attack. They marked it with graffiti. And then they burnt two Christian churches to the ground. The St. Virgin Mary Church in Al-Nazla is one of 47 churches and monasteries that have been burned, robbed, or attacked in a new wave of violence against Coptic Christians in Egypt by by Islamists, Islamo-fascists, as I defined them many years ago, and I was roundly criticized for it. In fact, I'm banned from Britain for having said that. I can't enter England. So let's forget England. The Coptic Christian Church has been there for 1,300 years, and I want to remind you, those of you who don't know much about Egypt, and I'm no expert, but I know that it's a, a, a multicultural nation, a multi-religious nation of which... Islam is only a part, a big part, but it's not Islamists that were the uh, Muslims of Egypt. In fact, Mr. President, remember last year, you remember after you were elected, rather, Mr. Obama, before you were playing golf, you ran to Cairo and you gave your first speech on foreign policy and you proclaimed that you wanted to seek common ground with the Muslim world, Mr. President? How'd that work out? Remember when you said that you were a new president and you're not George Bush? How did that work out, Mr. Obama? George Bush was more popular in the Arab world than you are right now, Mr. Obama. Why? You've been giving billions of dollars to other countries and they hate your guts. How about that Arab Spring, Mr. Obama, that George Soros told you to enact along with Hillary Clinton? How'd that work out, Mr. Obama? Remember you predicted that nothing but democracy would dawn with your Arab Spring theory, Mr. Obama? How'd that work out? When will the dawn appear, Mr. Obama? Churches are burning. People are being killed. How many nights do I have to wake up in the middle of the night and ask myself, who are you? Remember Mr. Uh, Egyptian President Mubarak, Mr. Obama? Remember him? The man you threw under the bus? The man who's now, uh, actually they released him, I think. Remember all of the stability and secularism during the 30 years of his rule, Mr. Obama, that you threw in the garbage can? How'd that work out? Remember when you praised the democratic election of President Morsi of the Muslim Brotherhood, who immediately suspended the Constitution, instituted Sharia law, and looked aside as uh, Christians were being victimized, Mr. Obama, and you went off to a, a vacation in Africa? And then when the Egyptian people threw the Muslim Brotherhood out and threw Morsi in jail, you supported Mor Morsi right to the end. How is that possible? How is that that your Secretary of State, Hillary Clinton, praised the interim government for restoring democracy? Who are your friends, Mr. Obama, and who are your enemies? In my great book, Trickle Down Tyranny, I said President Obama supports our enemies and attacks our friends. Was I wrong? The Egyptians are now calling us a terrorist nation for supporting terrorists. How is that possible? What kind of country is this? How can we resolve differences with Islamo-fascists who burn Christian churches, who turn over police vehicles, who use women and children as human shields, who use a mantra that says, with life, with blood, we sacrifice for Islam? Mr. Obama, who are you supporting? Fanatical Muslims? And now you're calling on the new Egyptian government to release Morsi, who is now in jail accused of murder? Ladies and gentlemen, which side is the president on? You have to ask yourself which president he's on. It was Mubarak who made peace with Israel and gave us access to the Suez Canal. He gave us overflight capabilities for the billions that we sent him. As we made the world safe for democracy under George Bush. Again, Islamofascism is arising in Iraq. That's what we got for our money. For a trillion or two trillion dollars, we didn't even get a drop of oil. Who is running the country? It's a country that is spinning out of control. Not just Egypt, but ours. Nero fiddled while Rome burns. Obama dribbles while Cairo burns. This is the Savage Nation. Join the Savage Nation. Call now. 855.